Tori Lovello and Jeff Bannister telling us that the, the defense the game calling as much as it has improved with Adrian Del Castillo gave Herrera the nod here down the stretch strike one to Hoskins the DH 212 he's got 25 home runs Yeah, with Del Castillo you kind of you lose a big bopper and a bat he came up did a fantastic job but you want to stay with that defense especially late in the year defense always wins championships especially in these critical games whereas uh, Joe Torre used to tell Bob Brenly it's a 90 foot war once you get into the postseason and Hosey has been outstanding 0 and 2 on Hoskins that one trickles foul. Merrill's velocity has been up as well lately the four seam the sinker and the cutter the velo trending back up again after a few shaky moments in his immediate return last month from that shoulder injury and he was outstanding much of that start against the Rockies earlier this week one run two hits over six at Colorado that was his last time out on Monday after they clipped him at six innings and 83 pitches when he appeared to be in total control. But admitted he was a, he was a little tired. Merrill said he was coming off. Remember that start against Texas at Chase Field when he had to come out with those leg cramps. Six innings at the Coors Field elevation. Said he just had a tough time getting the body going, and so they decided six was enough. It worked out. Oh two. Doesn't offer out there. I tried to run that. Slider out in that outer part just off the plate. He's throwing everything in this at bat sinker, curveball, four seam, slider. Boy, that sinker 95 upper part of that strike zone. What a two on Reese Hoskins. Oskin singled in his start at first base last night. That's been his only hit in the series so far. In his first season of the Brewers signed a free agent deal in January. Longtime Philadelphia Philly. Ninth pitch of this at bat coming up. And making him work for it here. He's throwing the whole Magilla up there at him. And Hoskins back even two and two. Garrett Mitchell has been on a home run tear lately winning on deck Pat Murphy has him third in the Brewers lineup tonight with Adamas in the cleanup spots 2 2 Boy, Hoskins uncle well, he just ran out of room up there in that pitch sequence board <laughs> Yeah, they tell you have a board up there behind right field that tells you all the pitches and we run out of room up there. Number 10 coming up. He's fouled off six. This one wants to go foul. Make it seven. This is officially a battle. Well, you hate to see these gods on the first. You want your guy to establish a quick tempo rhythm. Get some flow going out there. This really disrupts that. Yeah, it's usually your little pesky hitters, the guys either at the top of the order, your leadoff guys, or the eight, nine guys in the batting order. But Hoskins a power hitter. He's putting up a good at bat here. This is 13th pitch here in the at bat. Merrill's coming up on 20 pitches. He hasn't even faced two full batters yet. Now the 3 2. Man, man. Hoskins missed all of last year with the Phillies tore the ACL in his left knee in spring training and the surgery came back signed with the Brewers this winter they wanted some right hand power they wanted a first baseman and he's got both Wow Sinker, slider, four seam, cutter, change up, slider. It just goes on and on and on. Well, if you're the, the Brewers, you're happy. You're driving up that pitch count right there on the first two hitters of the ball game. This is pretty impressive. 
Got him. Merrill finally wore him down. It came hard earned, but he gets his first strikeout. What at bat by Reese Hoskins. Tip your cap. Boy, watch this sinker, the movement on it. Look at that thing just darts in right out of his right hip. And look at that velo, 295. That's been trending up, as we said.